So a quick word on how cryptocurrency and the broader market will be effective if Russia invades Ukraine. As many of you guys know, the United States and NATO has already said they're not going to do anything militarily if Russia invades Ukraine. Now you guys kind of know my stance on this. I don't believe it's going to happen. I believe it's all a bunch of fluff, posturing. But, you know, once the media covers it so much in depth, it's going to affect the market, right? And the market hates uncertainty. So it's not as much bad news that affects the market negatively, but it's uncertainty. And that's how we've seen it affects so far last Friday during an interview I was doing with a friend of mine, Brendan, who is living in Moscow now 10 months. During that interview, CNN came out with another article saying that the war was looming, you know, Russia's about to invade Ukraine. And from up 5%, literally it turned into negative 5%. This is crypto and the market tech. So it was like instant. So I think this worries a lot of people. People are thinking, wow, you know, things are not good already. You know, we're down 50% from all time highs in crypto. Some of tech is down still 70% from all time highs. So can we really withstand more volatility, more uncertainty? How much further down could it go? How could it be affected? Well, I think that when it comes to crypto, we have some interesting perspectives that you could argue that could actually be positive in some, in some outlooks. And I just want to do that as a thought experiment, just to put that out there. So first off, what would happen, right? If, and apparently everybody else is certain, so if Russia invades Ukraine, what's gonna happen? Well, the United States, NATO, UN, whatever you wanna call it, the broader, um, you know, allies will put a lot of sanctions on Russia. The biggest one, uh, you know, embargoes aside, is the monetary banking one that they're talking about. They will not even allow Russia to turn rubles into USD. This would be huge, okay? Now, Russia has already kind of negotiated partnerships with China. They've been kind of doing business for a while. So I think that if they did invade, that would kind of be their plan is to strengthen those relationships with the East. However, the banking, no matter what, you know, we're living in a global economy. It's gonna be a huge hit. The funny thing with sanctions, right? is that you're punishing ultimately the people that had nothing to do with this, right? These invasions, any type of decisions are made by the very few elite in charge. And what's funny is like we're friendly to Ukraine, yet the moment that they are under Russian occupation, those sanctions ultimately are gonna affect the Ukrainians. So it's like they, they didn't do nothing, right? They get occupied when all of those sanctions, embargoes and rules and all that shit is gonna affect them the most. So, a little bit unfair. As you guys know, Ukraine is a big hub for cryptocurrency mining, technology, and a lot of FinTech stuff going on there. So, the occupation initially could have quite an impact because of that. But here's an argument. Now, if there is all these banking embargoes, what would, uh, banking sanctions, I'm sorry, what could happen is cryptocurrency could start playing an even stronger role when it comes to transactions and business in that area. I mean, if you can't transfer rubles to USD, might not you start relying even more on cryptocurrency? This could even be a plan within the government. So from that standpoint, it could go completely the other way. We're worried about it having a negative effect on crypto. It could turn around and actually pump cryptocurrency to levels that we haven't even dreamt of seeing in the next five years. Right, so that's one perspective that could happen. I think that initially though, the uncertainty would cause a drop until people really do start pouring money into cryptocurrency. Because what else are you gonna do? So, like I said, I don't really think that this is gonna happen, but every day that looms, the media keeps harping on it. I guess, you know, never say never, right? It could, it could happen. So, well, I guess we'll just see how that plays out. Are there any things that you can do to safeguard yourself? Well, you know, like I said, the United States is not going to have a military intervention in the region. So, you know, I wouldn't start investing in, you know, military contract and, and companies because even though we are supplying some, you know, military um, supplies and such, we're not going to get that much involved. So it's really up in the air. I think. I'm not gonna change any of my portfolio. I'm gonna stick it through. So if it dips further, I'm just gonna keep buying, I'm just gonna keep pushing through and hope 
that this doesn't happen. I mean, the, my first hope is that we don't have to uh, resort to, you know, any type of weird stuff, you know, and hope that they're going to adopt cryptocurrency even more because they're on Russian rule. Uh, ideally, none of this is going to happen, but just an interesting thought to have. What are you guys' perspective? Um, what's going to happen? You know, and I looked historically, other wars, you know, even ones we were militarily involved in, like Iraq, and we didn't necessarily see that negative impact in the stock market, not long term at least. It's more the uncertainty part. So anyway, that's my perspective. Hope that makes sense to you. And again, guys, Thank you for watching and as always, buy red and sell green.